Hello and welcome to our latest video. In this video, we will show you how to generate ideas for synthetically feasible, novel molecules with drug-like properties starting from a hit intermediate using Machia, Ictos's user-friendly platform for de novo drug design and multi-parametric optimization. For a more detailed overview of Machia, please visit our website. On the project homepage, go to the Generators tab and click on New Generator. Give the generator the name you wish. Under Generation Engine, select Fragment Growing and click on Next. The Fragment Growing Generator is one of the generative algorithms implemented in Machia. It combines hit growing and multi-parametric optimization. On the following page, we specify the settings of the generator. You can see that there are multiple tabs to fit the generator to your needs. In the Chemical Space tab, we can specify a set of molecules that will guide the generation with similarity to this chemical space. Here, we select the Data PI 3K mTOR dataset, a dataset of molecules with some activity on PI 3K. The newly generated molecules will be close to this series. In the Intermediate tab, we specify the following molecular structure. This is our hit intermediate. This is the intermediate on which the generator will plug new building blocks. Once it's filled, we can specify up to two exit vectors. Exit vectors are atoms where new building blocks will be plugged. The intermediate structure will be kept intact, in particular, no fragment will be plugged to any of the other functional groups. The intermediate's atoms are shown numbered. In the text box, if we type 6 and hit enter, this selects the carbon-chlorine bond. We can click on save and this will become our exit vector. If desired, an additional exit vector could also be selected in the same manner. If needed, you can specify for each building block some structural constraints which are based on RDKit descriptors. To do so, Click on the blue banner and here you can set up constraints on the molecular weight, or the number of aromatic rings, or other characteristics of the building blocks that will be used. You can also specify some required or forbidden substructures in your building blocks. Moreover, you can specify the same kind of constraints on your final product. By clicking on Product Filter, you can set up filters based on RDKit descriptors for your final generated molecules. Finally, we want to perform multi-parametric optimization during the molecule generation. This is set in the AutoML tab. Here, we can select a QSAR model that we trained directly in Machia. We want our molecules to be optimized on the following objectives, the activity on PI3K, water solubility, CACO2 permeability, and total clearance. Our generator is now ready. To start it, go back to the Generators tab and click on the Run button. The progress bar will indicate the generation status. While the generation is still running, you can visualize the generated molecules. Clicking on the eye icon below in Blueprint will directly show you the molecules matching your specified blueprint. Click the Parallel Coordinates button to show the generated molecules as properties and select some molecules. For example, the ones whose ICTOS ranking is higher than 0.7. You can then select some of the molecules and export them as a CSV document or add them to the cart to share them easily. In the results page, on any of the generated molecules, you can click on See Details. This lets you see the commercial building block that was plugged on the hit fragment we indicated, as well as the molecule scores. 
Thank you for watching this use case. If you have any questions about Machia, please reach out, we'll be happy to help.